Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something I've been thinking about for a while. It's uh, got to do with the little Night Eyes figure nine carabiners that I already done a review on. Uh, I talked about using them in that first video in regards to cooking with them, using them to hang cook pots and stuff like that. I'm going to go over real quick just a few of the ways that I've actually used these. Anybody else can think of anything any different. I'd love to hear about it. But uh, we'll start out first of all with just a typical crane system or pole, whatever you want to call it. And we'll use it to start out with. What I've done, if you'll notice on the end of this stick, I've flattened out both sides so that the eyelet will fit over top of it like that. Get you around here where you can see a little bit better. If I can get out of the way. See how I've got that on there. Just hanging on there like that. Then I've got a stainless steel mug with a hanger. It's got about 20 ounces of water in it. What you do is you take a piece of paracord, put a toggle on the end of it, put the toggle through the hole at the top and then just hook the paracord ooh, in the end of it there. I can tell already that my support sticks aren't long enough. It's gonna let it sag too far. But I'll lift it up there. Maybe have to pour a little bit of the water out. I'm having to make do with what I can find. There we go. Let's see if that works better. And then just hook it in there, wherever you want it, whatever height you need it. This is paracord is a whole lot longer than I need, but I didn't want to cut a whole piece of paracord just so you could just to show you this. Oh. But there it is. You put your toggle through the bail and then just hook your paracord in there on your thing and let it hang. You can take it and adjust it down or up just by letting it re-bite in that notch on that one side. Uh, another way that I've used these, let me get this out of the way here. There goes my dog. Oh, is with cooks three-piece cook set like this. Uh, what I've got here, it's just a piece of, or three pieces of cast iron. I actually bought these at a rendezvous reenactment. They're, uh, I believe, three-eighths solid steel. Blacksmith twisted them and worked them up. <clears throat> You've got your cross piece, your two uprights. Now on this, I've used it. Uh, find a little piece. Uh, uh, there we go. I've used it this way. Take your night eyes, stick that through, just tie a simple overhand knot on that one side so that it will uh, stop from pulling through. Take it, go through your bail like that, then come over and hook it that way get you over here a little closer so you can see what I've done. I've just run it through and then hooked it in there in the little notch on the side. And again, if you need it farther down, you just let more out and hook it and hang it that way. And then adjust it back up if you need be. And do it like that. Now another way that you can use these, and I'm gonna switch over here to the tripod I've rigged up out of some old tent poles that I have here. There we go. With it, there's a couple of ways you can do this actually. Get a longer piece of cord here for this. One is just like I said, come through your night eyes, like so. 
overhand knot, pull it up tight. Hang it about where you need it and tie it off. What that does is that gives you that hanging down. At that point, you can take your pot, bring the night eyes through, and hook it back on itself that way. Let me get over here a little closer so you can see what I've done there. I've just hooked it through just like that. And then, like I said, you can adjust it up or down, however you need it. The other way you can do this is you can have your one line hanging down. Let me get this unhooked here, and I'll show you. Like so. And then, take your loop, come through, and over. And tighten that down so that you have your night eyes. Sorry about that. Just like that. And then take this tag in through your bell and bring it up and hook it. And then that way, what you get is a setup like that. And then to adjust it, you just pull your tag in up or let it back down to adjust your height. And then you can also do the loop method like I did with the three piece cook set and just let it loop over the top up here. You just untie it real quick. If you do tie your tripod and you get a long tag end hanging down, you can do it that way with it as well. Oh, get this all unhooked here. There we go. Just like on the three piece cook set that I did, cross piece, tie the knot in the end of it, just drape it over. And then hook it that way. And then just tuck that up out of the way. And then again, you can use it to adjust it up or down. And do it like that. And I mentioned in the other one, and I can't do it very well with this bale because it's so big. But if you've got a billy pot that's got a small bale on it, you can actually use two of them. I'm going to pour the water out of this and use it. You can actually use two of them. You can hook your bale in that hook. Let me grab you another one here. Take you another one. Come through it. And around. The key thing to notice on this one I've actually got that upside down. I've got the hook inverted. And then hook it through there to adjust it. If you need to let it down, you can let it down. This piece here is adjustable. So if you want to move it down closer to the bail of your cook pot, you can move it down and then adjust it that way. Kind of tuck that up out of the way while you cook. So move you in here a little closer so you can see this and I'll go over it real quick and show you. I've got that one inverted. Then I'm using that one as a bail hook. But if y'all can think of anything else, leave me a comment down below. I'll play with it, try it out, and see how it works. 
I'm always up for finding a new way of doing things. And a lot of times, a lot of this stuff I find and figure out, like on these, just by trial and error. Like I said in my intro video, this is a learning process and I'm still learning. Well, I hope y'all found this interesting. If you have any comments, let me know. Any suggestions on anything you'd like to see me try, let me know. I'm sorry I'm sweating. It's 90 degrees out here in the shade. <clears throat> Finally get the truck up and running. The piece of property that I was working on here down the road from the house uh, fell through. So I'm not going to be able to use it. So I'm still looking for property that I don't have to drive half an hour or more to get to. But I'll keep making videos and keep trying to find things that are new and different from what others are doing. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.